Hello. I thought I would make a video of what I just did. So the problem space, let's see. Um, so it's to take this GABC code and make it into a PDF now that the online um, things don't work. What I just did, okay, so the intention is to show you what Gregorio looks like, using Gregorio looks like. So um, down the bottom I have, yes, down here, yes, this is a, what would you call it, terminal window, terminal window, um, it might be called the PowerShell or um, I'm just thinking, what's it called in Linux, the DOS prompt used to be called. Um, Sorry, in Windows, Windows, DOS prompt, Mac, they have a terminal because Mac OS is supposed to be based on Unix, which Linux is supposed to be a copy of. Okay, so anyway, this window, you can, let's clear it up. So that's when you type in clear, it empties the window. Um, you can type in commands. So ls means to list the contents of the directory that you're in. Um, what else? <laughs> no, I'm going. I'm going too basic, aren't I? Okay. So what I have done is look at this folder. So this folder <clears throat> that that should be should be a more familiar sort of thing that you have in in Windows. You have a file manager. So um, let's. Some of these are, um, what would you call them, files. The, the main thing I, I started with is um, using main.tech. Let's open it with a, a nice user-friendly looking text editor. So this is main.tech. You can see it's a very short text file. The first line sets it up that I'm going to, I'm telling the program we're going to make an article. It's going to be letter size paper because my default in my computer is A4 because I'm in Australia. Um, but I'm assuming you, letter would be better in America. So use package. This is where you call in Gregorio Tech. You need the auto compile flag because you don't want to have to compile the Gregorio files manually. So, so auto compile Gregorio Tech, begin document. So this is where the actual commands that make the document go. And I've used Gregorio score and I've put in the name of the GABC file that I've got. So Deus in Agitorium is the name of this file up here. Can you see that? Yeah. So we can open this file also with Featherpad. And that is just cut and paste from Father Andrew's um, web page where he's saved all the GABC. So I took this part here is just a deus in editorium. So each of these parts, this way you have to put each of these parts in a separate file. Oh, there is a, I see now, so this, this part has no actual notes in it. It's just there for the name. So, um, okay, so does that make sense so far? I should show you, show you what I've got so far. I've processed the main.tech with the GABC and this is what I've got so far. It's not my favorite font, but, um, it, it's basically there. Yeah, we're getting there. Um, so for the next next part of main.tech, we're going from this. So the next one, he wants a heading with the word Psalms and then Psalmi Antiphony Exalterio Secundum Diem. Okay. So that doesn't have to be in a Gregorio file. That can be a header. What about a section? So we'll, let's say this can be a section. Maybe Psalms, whoops, and then, um, oh, we'll just put in the text. Whoops, that's not the text I wanted. Didn't that copy? There you go, Psalmi and Tiffany at Saltaria Secundum Die. We can format it later. Okay, so the next part is the Psalms. Oh no, there's still a bit more. The Antiphon, of course. So here's the Antiphon. We have people invading. Ah! Hello. Hello. Okay, so we're going to make a new file with our text editor. I'm going to paste that in. For some reason, I get a blank line between each line, so I'm going to delete those just in case it makes a difference. Where are your thongs? 
on your feet. I've got my doll. Excellent. Mommy. Monica. Whoops. Uh, Don't delete those little uh, things. Yeah. There we go. Yes. So, uh, oh, yeah. Um, so that is, if there's a way to cut and paste, it, maybe different computers do different things, but yeah. Um, yeah. So you can see it's pretty much exactly what's off the web page. So we're going to save this as, that's a save button. Uh, what should we call this one? So, um, well, let's use the numbering scheme from Gregor Base. So, AN for antiphon, dum, asset. Actually, I think they use underscores instead of, does that look right? No, it's two, two dashes there and then underscores in here. Dum, asset, and we'll assume it's Salem. D-A-B-C. So, yeah, you could use whatever name. I might copy that for pasting in the next thing. Okay. And then I'll go over to main.tech. I'll put another Gregorio score line in. And then put... The, man. There we go. Okay. I'm, I'm automatically Control-Shift-V because I'm usually using the, um, the this window. But this window does something else. Okay. Anyway, um, so that is all done. So we can s save that. Okay, different button for the save. And then go to our text window. I'm using Lua LaTeX. I think you have to use for Gregorio. Yeah, okay. So Lua LaTeX is the, the program you need to install to run Gregorio. Gregorio is like a plugin for Lua LaTeX. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think so. Okay, and now I can look at the PDF. So that's the sort of process you're looking at for building a PDF. So in some ways, if you're doing this on a regular basis, you'd be reusing a lot of these things. And um, so just be editing this, this main file to pull in the Gregorio files that you want. Um, and because you can download the GABC straight off Grego Base and you can save them in the same directory, um, yeah, it might might be a workable solution. Yeah. So, as you can see, the output we've got the heading Psalms and then Sami Antiphonet Seltario, that's the plain text, and then the Antiphon. Yeah. So, there, there are by default rather large borders. Um, one way to change that is to use the full, what's it called, full page package. So, let me go, use package, um, full page, yeah. And, sorry, I've got, my fingers think I'm using a different text editor. And then I process that again with Lua LaTeX. which takes a little while to process. So that's the faster computer you have, the quicker Lua LaTeX will load, but you don't really need a fast computer in order to run this. So you can see now that the margins are a bit smaller, the text is a bit wider. So that'll fit more on one page and save you um, save you some paper. Okay. So you can keep on going, cutting and pasting each block of GABC into its own file. Um, Okay, so that's sort of a picture of, of what it is like to use Gregorio. Now, how to install Gregorio is the, the other question. So you can kind of... Okay, there is a website called tug.org, which is, which is pretty good for lots of getting started with tech and the family of different tech software that you can get. So their, their link, getting started with tech, is the one that I've been looking at. You can also see it's a really old-fashioned web page. Yeah, it's sort of in the um, the area of programmers from the 1970s. Yes, which might include me. But that's, anyway, I wasn't a programmer in 1970. So you can install this on Unix, GNU Linux, Mac OS X, and Windows. These are the megalithic... Okay, so tech is a whole family of different plugins. These ones tend to install all the plugins and fill up your hard drive. So I'm not a fan of filling up my hard drive, so I use Tiny Tech, um, which I've got used to and I like a lot. 
So it is also available. It is cross-platform, it says. So you can install it um, for Linux. They put Linux first, which is nice. And um, Mac OS and then Windows users. They're using a thing called PowerShell. I haven't used PowerShell as far as I know, so... Um, but it sounds like it's possible. So I showed it's... Um, it doesn't need a very fast computer to to install any of this software. It's made for the 80s where, um, yeah, things would take a while. So there's there's different things. If you come up with an error halfway through, it'll actually give you the opportunity to fix it halfway through rather than having to start the whole process, um, that, that scroll. So some of my bigger books, they take like 10 or 20 minutes to process each time to, to see what the output looks like. Um, so that's why it's... I don't know. Anyway, yes. So, yeah, maybe I should do this as a Zoom call so you can you can stop me when it doesn't make sense. Hmm. Hmm. So let's see. So once you've installed Tiny Tech or um, or one of the regular techs, Tech Live, Mac Tech, or Mic Tech, then there's installing Gregorio. There's a, a great web page, Gregorio Chant which has a whole lot of links and I can never remember the web page for the official web page for Gregorio so I use this as the yeah, gregoriochant.org is the one I can remember so they have resources software software yay okay, okay. the official Gregorio website so gregorio-project.github.io Gregorio Project um, installation They have a link on installing Gregorio So they recommend using the Illuminari score editor or Gregorio Chant Engraver Is that... Um, I think that's Richard Clark's one? Not sure? Okay um, And then which version of TechLive you need? Well, Yes. Okay. And finally, the installation. So you need to install TechLive or an equivalent before installing Gregorio. Then they have the instructions for installing under Windows, GNU Linux, Mac OS X. So that ah, oh, that has the use shell escape thing. Um, in older versions of Gregorio, you need to use the shell escape thing when you're running Lua LaTeX. Well, yeah, older versions of Lua LaTeX then. Um, but yeah, as you saw, I didn't have to use that because I'm using the most recent version. So I can't remember exactly which version you didn't have to use that anymore. But um, yeah, so if you're installing it fresh, you may as well install the latest version, hopefully, and don't have to worry about shell escapes. Um, they've got an editor configuration. So some people, instead of using a humble text editor like that, they use a, um, a built-in text editor which um, can okay so you can see the syntax highlighting it's made this a different color to this so that wasn't because uh, you didn't see me I haven't got any color um, tools up there it just picks up that this is a tech file and then puts the commands in one color so you can see better what you're doing and you can see any any typographic areas so if you, you get the wrong spelling it will change color so it can recognize the standard these are standard latex commands in dark blue and these lighter blue ones are the ones it doesn't recognize it can still see that they're an a command but it's putting them in a different color because yeah there might be a, a mistake um yeah so if you put extra yeah anyway it's just a handy thing that, that so that's called syntax highlighting and um, GABC, it doesn't pick up, but you can get some programs which can pick up GABC and highlight, um, put stuff in different colors so it's easier to edit. Shall I show you that? May as well. Okay, so this is the one I actually usually use. Um, oh, and it's not syntax highlighting, so never mind that. Okay. <laughs> I've had syntax highlighting for GABC, I'm pretty sure. Oh, anyway, that's... Okay, but yeah, so the tech tech works and tech shop would oh that works for Linux. Okay, um, yeah, so you'd have, if you plan to use an editor like that, you need to configure it once Gregorio is installed. So it sounds like too much of a hassle to me. So I'll just stick with um, text editors and a um, terminal emulator. Okay, this has a star showing it's been altered because I've been playing with the 
spellings. Anyway, um, yeah, so you save your file, then run Lua LaTeX over in the text editor, no, not text editor, terminal emulator, and then look at the output in your PDF viewer. That's usually Adobe Acrobat Reader, um, but there are a whole lot of PDF viewers. I'm using actual document viewer because that's what we've got available. Yes, okay. So, is it worth installing all that? It is handy. Mm. Or else there's the way of using the editor. Um, what? Okay, let's look at the luminary. You could output a different format, like EPS or SVG, and then paste that into something. So, um, that's right, that's there. So this next one is the Psalms, or a Psalm. So if we... So you can download GABC, PDF, or EPS. EPS is an encapsulated postscript, which you could put into... Can you put it into Word? It should work, but it'll be one page, so it'll still be a pain. Okay. Yeah, I think you got me. It's, it's, it's no, no easy, easy fix. You'd have if yeah, yeah, even if you. Oh wow, that's some interesting um, notes there. But usually the notes work out fine when you when you export from the Illuminary Score Editor. Okay, so that's me. I wonder how long I've been recording for. Okay. I'll hold it, stop it there, and see what happens. Okay. God bless. Bye.